And now we can head back. Hopefully. Should the game decide. Thank you. Let's head back. Back on the front, on the, the main floor. Chaos is hanging out over here now. No, didn't see any major problems. It was just hammering the captain's imagination then. Of course it was. Where'd Alan go? He's kind of gone. Oh, well, they're not in my way. I'm not going to go out and look for him. Especially Alan. Ugh. God. So unnoticeable. Let's just head over here. And I am going to save. I'll be right back. All saved and ready to go. So let's head back to the bridge. Surely, surely nothing will happen with that spark that we saw down in the catapult. Thank you for choosing the UMN transport gate. Didn't really have a choice. We would like to confirm your vessel's registration. Organization, it's Kukai Foundation. Vessel class, Type 2 cargo ship. Vessel Sounds right. Number, MFHE598247511. Vessel name, Elsa. It's actually Captain five seven one. Matthews, is this correct? Yep. Yeah. You got it. Please oh. transmit your flight plan. We go where Thank we you. please. Cargo is scrap material. Destination is the Milshan star system. Oh, you appear to have some excess cargo mass. Yeah, we got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Have a safe journey. More in debt for Captain Matthews. I had a feeling that notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have billed Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. That's true. I don't want to get Vector involved on this. I don't know. Who are we to say about the, uh, the Kukai Foundation? We know so little about them right now, except that they seem to harbor uber-humans, the genetically engineered people. But outside of that, that's, that's really all we know, which is probably why Xion referred to Alan's kind of distrust of them. I have to say... Hey, Ziggy! I'm very impressed. She referred to his, gun controls to you. his distrust you as racism. Take care of the return fire? Roger. I wouldn't be much of a bodyguard if I didn't. So they're going through hyperspace. This is where we last left off with them. And yes, they do get followed in hyperspace. And now we are having a hyperspace battle. I, I don't know the physics of this at all. I am so lost to hear. You've but got Ziggy to be wins. kidding me. This is ridiculous. But, but what? there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'm just passing on the orders. And I'm saying those orders are unacceptable. Oh, forget it. It's not doing me any good talking to you. Get the director on the line now. The yes, director? Just a moment, please. That looks like Miyuki. Chief, did you see how scared she was? You're even scaring me. You don't she have to yell, away. you know? Very carried what away. What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, mm -hmm. Director, what is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination, it looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! Xion, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. You don't understand at all. Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, 
You should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. She is overly cautious when it comes to Cosmos. Togashi informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties, but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. What about Virgil? Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! But hey, Togashi made it. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. I guarantee nothing. The slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chief. See, the last one looked just like I just her. Did what I had to do. I'm just That's so me, Yuki. Glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. Huh. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. You'll get Ellen no, jealous. It's true. So, what about me? <laughs> Who? Oh, hey, Alan. Didn't see you there. Yeah, that Didn't tends to see happen. Me here. Hey, I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Oh, poor Alan. I didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> Not really, if you couldn't tell. Back to the hyperspace battle! If you were looking for a game in which you participate a lot, uh, Xenosaga is not your game. I think this has been made clear so far. But I'm just reinforcing Vicky, it. There's a civilian ship in hyperspace. We have to warn them. Can you open a channel? Securing an emergency channel. Go ahead. Attention, civilian spacecraft. A battle has broken out in hyperspace. Hey. For the safety of your ship. We recommend you gate out as soon as possible. Whoa, wait a minute. A battle in hyperspace? Where the hell do morons come from? <laughs> Aroma. Hey, you can hear me, right? Get yourself over to the bridge. The two parties are meeting. I can hear you just fine. Whoever just thought this would happen? This. Wow. That's some fine maneuvering. I had no idea there are ships that small they can enter hyperspace. They did say that UTIC was was technologically advanced past the Federation. Which is weird. Watch it! Do you know who those guys are? No idea. Doesn't look like one of our products. What about the other small ship? I'm the sorry. Chaos doing? I have no idea. There's a distress call coming from the small ship. Why are we helping them? We've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys. Damn! We're in their line of fire! What? Get out of the way! We're too big! Do you see how small those things are? We're in everyone's line of fire just all the time. If we hit the column walls, it's over! Uh, Someone save us! Damn it! You try to be polite and they just walk all over you! What's the plan, Captain? Are we gonna join the party? What are you, nuts? What'd I just say to you? We've already got enough trouble! They're firing on the Elsa. There's no way to put the other way to There's put it. There's a hit to Sector 4. Outer hull partially damaged. They've done it now, those bastards! Oh. Captain! Shut up! Any enemy of theirs is our ally! Tony! Aye, aye, sir. That's like it. What? Matthew. Wait a second! You're gonna take a ship like 
like this in the battle in hyperspace? You that probably isn't a good idea. You better believe it. Don't worry about it. With Elsa's logic drive and my immaculate piloting skills, there's nothing we can't handle. Let's do it! We'll see about that. But Matthews, I take back what I said about Captain Mao. I see a little bit, but no. You are no Captain Mao. Yeah. These guys must like trouble. That they do. You okay back there? Yep. I'm fine. That's what I like to hear. I have no idea how the physics here work at all, but these walls are that they have to avoid or anything like that. I'll just have to trust the game that they've sorted it out. That ship's got some serious moves. That's what I call wave riding. Yeah. I can feel it, baby. I can feel it. When in actuality, they probably just went with whatever looks cool. And what made sense at the time. Did they- he just like caused sparks and that crashed the other ships? Is that what happened there? Like he purposely like nudged the walls? I have to assume that's what he was doing. Reinforcements! What? How- how are there reinforcements? How do you adjust your speed in hyperspace? I have- I have no, no idea no how this works. No, there's no way they can avoid all that! End of the line. I'm no. sorry I couldn't see you through this safely. It's you still okay. have my stuff! I know. Thanks for everything you've done. Are you scared? A little. Oh. But I'm okay. Because you're here with me. I see. You start to see this this father-daughter dynamic between the two of these, definitely. Nice catch, Shield! Looks like oh. just and of course the Elsa grabs him. You wouldn't think that they would just let him go like that, did you? No. We're gonna pull you in. Hurry inside once the hatch closes. We'll get rid of him. Ziggy! Hmm. These guys really do like trouble. And they're just gonna pull him in. Once again, the physics of this just completely beyond me, and I don't think they really necessarily the thought it through. The deck isn't closing. What? Could it be that? Damn electrical problems. Time like this. Attention, vessel occupants. Can you make it up on your own? The ship shielding should cover you a bit, so if you put on your spacesuits and use the hull as a shield. Roger. Neither of us here are human, so I'm sure we can make it. They don't need the space suits, they're fine. So you can just be All right. outside. Fine. I build a lot tougher than I look. Damn right you are. How about you, Ziggy? The shield generator is protecting them from hyperspace, whatever that well, means. I'm built as tough as I look. <laughs> he is built as tough as he looks. You guys should still, you know, hurry. That'd probably be the best idea for you here. They can go right through the shield generator, whatever that means. Ziggy, they're here! I see them. We have no choice. We must enter the ship. If they're only Autotech terminals, we should be able to handle them. Momo, give me periodic reports on the enemy status. Their only goal is to capture you. They won't do anything wrong. Yes, sir. Damn it! Intruder alert! They're on the catapult deck! Surrender and maintain cruising speed. If you do not comply, we will attack. Repeat. Surrender and maintain cruising speed. If you do not comply, we will attack. 
the hell's cruising speed? I don't trust you. Auto tech. My ass. Who are you kidding? We're screwed either way. Tony, full throttle. Use a ship to take him out. You got it. I would assume that auto tech means that there's no human on board that is pure robot. Not sure what happened there, but he fell into the wall. Maybe he rubbed against the, the top wall, something. And now the catapult works just fine, so they didn't need to get out at all. Nice! That shot closed the catapult! Oh, this is insane! Yes, yes it is, Alan. But they're already on board. Did We've that just go trauma. through a wall? They're taking over the rear hangar. I'm detecting uh. transfer waves. They're calling in terminal units. We'll just have to take them on. Prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Seal the internal barrier doors. Roger. I'll take the corridor. I'll go too. No, it's too dangerous. I can't let you go by yourself, Chaos. Don't worry. I've got Cosmos with me. Who suddenly woke up? Right, Cosmos? Yes. I will eliminate the enemy units. But don't damage the ship, understand? Understood. I will proceed at 30% output. Alan, go find the commander and high. protect the cabin. Huh? Are you serious? I'm counting on you. In other words, Cherenkov and Alan are not going to be fighting with us. But we do have, uh, looks like four party members in total. Well, we got Ziggy and Momo. We know they can fight. We got Xion and Cosmos, and we know they can fight. So... 40 party members is what it looks like to me. How you doing, buddy? Don't do anything reckless. Something were to happen, we'd all be fired. Fired, and it's horrible. Anything to say about this hammer? You got any items to sell? No, it's, you're not the right kind of hammer for that. Uh, it's finally time for Cosmos to kick some butt. Again, it's going to be awesome. Yes, go get them. You're not going to see any of it. Huge reading coming from Hangar 2. It might be an enemy boss. Be careful. And don't you wreck this shit if you damage it. I'm going to bill you for the repairs. Of course you are. I'll be expecting nothing less. Oh! You might notice that somebody is not here. It's because he's in our party! We get chaos at our party. Woo! Chaos is uh, probably my favorite uh, character to use in battle. Uh, I'm not sure about overall character in the game or in the series of games, but Chaos definitely is my favorite to use in battle. Uh, have fun with him. Okay, so let's take a look at him. He is new, so it's time to take a look at him just in a little bit here. His uh, vitality seems to be pretty good. I mean, well, look, he's two levels higher than everybody else. Uh, so it's probably only fair to compare him to Cosmos and not to Sheen. So strength, not very good. Vitality, very good. Ether attack, not that great compared to Cosmos. That's actually surprising to me. Uh, ether defense, uh, very nice. Uh, dexterity and evade and it is not very good. And agility, uh, he's equal to Sheon. So uh, I believe that is the fastest that we have in the uh, game to this point. I don't believe Momo or Ziggy is faster than or now chaos because <laughs> he is in our party once again he's my favorite to use he is damn good I will say that but that is actually going to do it for these parts of let's play Xenosaga episode 1 I've been Baller Scuba I've been joined as always by our constantly under attack squad of Shion Cosmos and Chaos Momo and Ziggy somewhat with us but they're not with us right now when we come back we will defend the elsa from the auto tanks hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>